guys, welcome back to Life with the Becker. So today we are repairing the rear view mirror button in my car. Had to say that one slow. Um, so just a little DIY self repair. I'm not sure why my car likes to have issues with this, but I've definitely dealt with a, a lot as you'll learn in the video. So just a little bit of experienced help for you guys if you haven't done it before. So hopefully this helps and uh, let's get into it. Okie dokie, let's get this little button cleaned up. So once you figure out which type of screw this is, then you're going to be able to figure out what kind of screwdriver you need. Mine is all black, so it's hard to see, but it is a star shape, which is why I have this screwdriver set here. So we'll go ahead and take that out. So we'll just test this, make sure this one is the right size. There we go. Loosen the screw. I ended up buying this set specifically for this very reason because this is not the first time that this has happened. <clears throat> and then this button just slides right out. And it is important, there are two different ways that it can go. So there is a front side and a back side. So you want to orient yourself which, with which side is which, make sure that you have those right. That way you know exactly what your uh, which side you want to glue. <laughs> Take some rubbing alcohol and we're going to use that to get rid of some of the sticky residue on the button. And then we'll take a razor blade. And that's what we're going to use to scrape it clean. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert here. So, you know, this is a little DIY advice for you. So obviously be careful if you're using a razor blade. Don't be silly. Um, but you're just going to basically scrape away any of that residue that you have there from the glue so that it's a nice clean surface for you to apply new fresh glue to. So we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up as best we can with the razor blade and then we'll move to the next step. So on my button, I have a little bit of glue built up in this channel here that slides along the edge. So you wanna make sure to get rid of any and all glue that's on there just so that that way you have fresh slate even in the little nooks and crannies. <clears throat> so it ended up working a lot easier to put it back into the plastic housing to scrape the flat surface just because it is a little bit hard to hold it. So little tidbit there that might be easier if it sticks out past all of the plastic housing so that is working much better as you can see we've got some we're down to some of the shiny on a little bit of it so a little ways to go still but slowly but surely we will get there but it does look much better all right so now we have our button all nice and cleaned up mine is a little bit rough looking but last time i did this i didn't quite scrape it as much and it did not stick anywhere near as long look out and now we have a nice clean fresh surface to apply the glue and glue accelerator but we're gonna do that in just a moment so we'll uh, do that in just a moment all right so we're out here with the car my very dirty windshield so ours has this cable which gives like information like northeast southwest and stuff like that any buttons you have so obviously you want to disconnect that once you um once it like falls off or breaks so that you don't have that hanging by that um but that's what that is and then yeah we have a nice little pretty clean outline here from the button from before so you can see that that's exactly where our button's gonna go so firstly bro can you sit over here please So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean everything with rubbing alcohol so it's a nice clean surface because I've been touching everything with my hands. My hands are greasy. 
and glue doesn't like grease. So just a little, take a good hold on it because I'm not going to let go for a while. Okay. JB Weld. Ta-da! So there's instructions on here, so we're just going to follow those. For whatever kit that you guys end up picking, make sure you follow the instructions closely because that is very important. <clears throat> Our instructions are first to pop this little... There's just diffusing a bomb. There's like something so satisfying about these. I don't know if it's just being a 90s kid or something, but these little like vials inside the thing, like, uh, smash. So then now we can apply this accelerator through the little, come on, there we go. Kind of put that all over the surface. This is just going to help the glue to stick. And then, thank you. The instructions say that we're gonna let that thin layer apply, apply that thin layer and then allow it to dry for one to two minutes. Boring. So, uh, yeah, Editor Jesse, one to two minutes. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> it did really seem like a bomb though. Like you like pulled off the cap and then you have to like the liquid bombogen in there and then <laughs> and you gotta like bust it and break the fuse and throw it in the thing before it explodes. <laughs> Doomsday stuff. Don't smell it. See that? You smell that? You die. It's uh, one of those scent things that kill you immediately upon death. Alright, two minutes later. <laughs> one to two minutes later. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is it's the moment of truth. So we're gonna go ahead and tear open our glue packet that already feels sticky, which is always, you know, ideal. That's how you know it's really glue. <laughs> Can't possibly expect them to get all the glue in every tube, every time. I'm just kidding. That'd be unreasonable, right? Must be. Okay, <clears throat> and then it just says to put one big drop on the back of the button. I'm going to very cautiously do so. Okay. That's a big drop. There's my one big drop on the back of the button. Go snowman. All right. Now what I'm going to do is press it into place and hold it for one full minute. that was maybe a little too much. It's okay, we can wipe up the excess. <clears throat> Let me know when to start the timer. Yeah, let's start it. And I'm just gonna hold it here. It's already starting to stick better. Like the second that it adhered, I could feel it. So now I'm just gonna put pressure on it for the one minute and then that will help secure it. Once the one minute is up, <clears throat> we're gonna let it sit. It says at least 30 minutes. I'm thinking probably I'm gonna let it sit for maybe two hours because I've heard from a friend once that if you uh, put it on too soon, you don't wait, you gotta redo the whole process over again, buy a new glue pack, you know, get the uh, glue scraped off. It's a big pain. I mean, so I've heard from the friend. Anyway, um, so we're gonna let it wait for a while before we uh, try to pop the mirror on there. Mine's not gonna be perfect, guys, and I'm not too worried about it because my mirror kind of has like the rotating ball joint where I can kind of angle it however. So if it's a little bit off to the side, it doesn't really matter for me. Um, if it does for you, keep chirp, that chirp, in chirp, mind. Chirp, 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 oh, is that my one minute? Oh, thank gosh. All right, there we go, guys. Not perfect, like I said, but for us, this is gonna work perfect. So once you get it stuck up there, you just let it sit for at least 30 minutes according to our packet and then we'll come back and we'll apply the um, the actual mirror and you can check that out. So now we just wait. Two hours later. Oh, my bad. Anyway, um, we're just putting up the mirror here. So first thing first, I've made this mistake before. Not even a friend, it was me. 
this screw comes out here and that's what puts tension on it. You wanna make sure when you're going to slide this back on there, that screw is nice and far back out of the way because it'll pop the, when it slides through, it can pop the button off and that really sucks. So just make sure your screw is nice and loose out of the way before you go to slide it on. So. Oh, which way? Very carefully, gently slide it on, and then it'll hold itself. I'll clip that in a second. And then you just find the little screw and just tighten it to hand tighten tension. You don't want it to rattle too much. And then, <clears throat> this is my car, guys, trust me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. All right, now I don't use any of these buttons, so it's kind of funny because it doesn't really matter that much to me other than it does activate my like auto tint when the lights behind me are too bright. My thingy has a little function that'll gray it out. So I do want it plugged in for that. But yeah, so now we are all back in business. We can turn it around. Don't want to yank on it too hard, but we're good. All right, guys, boom. Now we can focus on what was behind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad we put that behind us. That was a better joke. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Doggies, 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 doggies. <laughs>